welcome to Fallout, you guys. We're playing the original Fallout. Um, now, I'm a big fan of the Fallout series. Stop. I'm a big fan of the Fallout series. This game came out in 1997. Oh. Get out. <laughs> Stop that. Um, it definitely looks like 1997, because this is like a really compressed MPEG here. The Vault of the Future. You'll think of me. Our dedicated boys keep the peace in newly annexed Canada. Let's just kill this Canadian city. Dude, that's Dave, that's Dave Nix. There he goes. And they're just like, ha ha. Hey, Mom. Buy war bonds. So, I mean, you know, you know what this game is about, basically, eh? Nuclear war. After nuclear war. After, yes. Um, I think the story, either they went to war during the 1950s, or, like, technology froze at the era of the 1950s. Because it's always, it's all, like, really old tech, like, you know, like big TVs and... The goofy, like, Flash Gordon-style robots and stuff. It's like, uh, Planet 51. Yeah. And it's... It's like a hundred... No, it's, it's a couple hundred years after the bombs blew everything up. And this was, um... I don't know, this was a big deal back in 97. They hadn't really seen Why much like this. Why is the chat like so small? War. Because we have to be, because there's not much room on the screen for it, see? The Romans waged war to gather slaves and wealth. And here's the, the lovely Ron Perlman who's voiced every single Fallout game. It's cool how fans made these low budget retro project prequel games since Fallout started at 3. <laughs> Fuck you. In the 21st century, war was still waged over the resources that could be acquired. It's 100 years after the war. 100 years after the war, okay. Are all the other ones like later? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just get later for I think game. I think Fallout 4 is 200 by that point. China invades Alaska for oil. America annexes Canada to, to basically secure North American hegemony, then they blow each other up. Fallout 2 is 180 years after. Fallout takes place more in the future pictured by the, the 60s. Some people are pitching nuclear powered vacuums in less than 10 years. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Civilization would I actually kind of recall that they're just like, "Hey, what's the future gonna be like?" And they just like have like spacemen with like fucking bubble heads and shit, you know, stuff like that. There's a lot of junk like that in this. It's this is basically if the future of like the post World War II era, mm -hmm. what they thought the future was gonna be, was actually true. That's the future of this game. Life in the vault is about to change. Okay. Fallout 3 was 20 years out before Fallout 4. Okay, that's fair. Cool. We are you playing games based on the subject? I guess you could be finishing Banjo 2. Fuck off! So let's start a new game. Click. Um. This is your character selection screen. I can't read any of that. <laughs> Why is it this tiny? Good lord. I can see nothing. I didn't like Banjo-Tooie that much. I liked, I liked Banjo-Kazooie a lot, but Tooie was not that good. Should I? Maybe we should make it like a... Can we decrease the... Yeah, hold on. Maybe we can do that. Hold on. Here, let's go back. Let's not fucking have it at a ridiculous... Screen settings. How oh, about what's what's a widescreen? Is this widescreen? Oof, that's big. Yeah. Click new game. I guess that's what we're gonna have to do because it's. I mean, it's kind of weirdly letterbox on the stream though. Ah shit. Let's try it. You can read it better. That's as good as it gets, I think. All right, so what do we, modify or create character? Well, these are, you see, it says strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, ability, and luck. Mm -hmm. That's special, yeah. your stats. Yeah. So you can change those if you like. Yeah, like you can. 
This is perception, right? Yeah. S P E C I A L special. You sure you try to start playing this game and it's age too poorly for me to get into? I mean, maybe. Maybe we won't even get into it. I know I I know I loved it when I was a kid, but fuck, it's twenty years old at this point. I feel like this one should be higher than the joke. All in luck, the most useful stat. Can you change them? I don't know how. Probably with the keyboard. There's a keyboard in front of you. Goddamn women. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. What, uh, that's sex. That's age. You're gonna be a male or a female? You can choose the female button. Nah, Only two male. genders that are assuming your gender. I'll be this male. This game has age poorly. It's decayed and deteriorated over the time. Mama tastes have remained constant over the ages. I don't know what to do with this. Those are all your skills. Just Small guns, skills. big scu big guns, energy weapons, uh, unarmed, melee, throwing, uh, first aid, doctor, sneak, lockpick, steal, traps. What is it? I feel like I should pick this one. Repair speech, barter. Nah, I'm picking this one. Outdoorsman, gunslinging. How do you... Where's the attack helicopter gender? <laughs> Oh wait, they can't see our fallout guy. Hold on, let me fix that. Should I use this one? Nope. Should I use this one? You can kind of see him. We built this, Elopus. It's a keyboard game. You can't really see our, our fallout man. I'm sad. I'll okay. fix that on the... Uh, I'm done. On the post, on, on the between episodes. I'll add him. Naomi's soft little woman brave won't be able to handle. Oh. You're here. Good. We've got a problem, a big one. Best graphics back in the day, dude. Our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one. The process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, Better face animations than Mass Effect Andromeda. It actually kind of is. Seriously, it is. To go find us yep. another controller chip. It's sad. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay. So this is 100 years after the world got blown up, and the U.S. government built vaults to, to house people in to survive. Yeah. This is Vault 13, I think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And our water chip's broken. We're 100 years in to surviving the nuclear apocalypse, and we have no drinking water. So we have to go out and find another water chip. And that's the game. It, it drops you into an open world and says explore. Those are your skills. Yep, you click to move. And you can only see what's around you. Like, you, you can't tell what else is happening in the cave. What's over there? Oh no, something's hitting you. How do I, how do I attack? Cave rat attacked you. How? I don't know. Vault I'm 13, the first and best. These graphics are aesthetic. Did you kill it? Oh. Cave rat missed. Cave rat hit you for 4 HP. Are you even fighting it? Yeah. Oh, you hit it for 3 HP. Riveting fucking combat, you guys. <laughs> Here's the thing. I uh, I don't remember how to play this game at all. I remember having a lot of fun with it when I was um, 11. <laughs> but I don't remember anything else about it. I'm so confused. Can't even beat a rat. Sad. I... How do you beat the rat? <laughs> I, I usually dump Spam. all my points into intelligence and agility and then moderate the rest into others. Did you die? 
Hope so makes the game like this an RPG maker. I can't. I'm gonna die, guys. Just to let you know. Your health is at seven. Yeah. How about you hit him? I am. Are you? It doesn't look like it. Let's see. You can't do that in combat. You can't do that in combat. This is ridiculous. I'm so confused. A blurred line? That sounds vaguely familiar. I I used to like occasionally play RPG Maker games. Oh, look at all those enemies. What did you do? That's how you attack. You missed. Cave Bat was killed. You're victorious in combat. You got 25 experience points. And you're nearly dead. I don't want... You can't go back into the vault either. You're... Well, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> Click the big button in the middle to attack. What big... This? Yeah. That's the attack button. That's good to know. Keep going. <laughs> Fucking lord. Oh, here it comes. Hit him. Punch him. Maybe it's not. Maybe, 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 click on him first. There you go. You missed. Oh, he left. He ran away. You see rocks. You see cave bat. Okay, back and back. You can now punch him. <laughs> Just gonna walk around it. Oh, you killed the cave bat. Oh, you yeah, died. Your are yeah. clean by the desolate wind. Your vault will now surely die. Died. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Death counter. This is dumb. You gonna try again? <laughs> Fucking lord. Let me back in. The rat nearly killed me. Here's the thing, man. This is how old RPGs were. They were very unforgiving, and they didn't teach you anything. You had to figure it out. You would play in this cave for like an hour just to fucking understand how the game worked before you even left it. Old games didn't hold your hand. They didn't give you tutorials. They didn't, they didn't like... You had, you had to just play and figure it out. You killed it. Good job. Longest setup for the shittiest game. They assume you read the manual. Exactly, dude. That's how it was back in the day. Read the fucking manual. Games don't come with manuals anymore. That, that's bullshit. And that's why most people don't let's play RPGs. <laughs> Say, Naomi, do you like, do you like Fallout? You killed that. Wait, no, you didn't. Squeak! He's still there, though. Killed. Good job. That's okay, man. Don't worry about that. Read the man. You missed. Killed the mat. You've earned 25 experience. Good job. Yep, keep going. I don't recall how to move the camera, though. I think you have to... Oh, you just, like, you just mouse over. Yeah, yeah, cause it works like Diablo, then. Okay. Fallout 1 and 2 had manuals with neat recipes as rewards for reading it all the way through. Yeah, lots of old manuals, like, rewarded you for actually reading them. Here comes another one. I haven't seen it, Dynasty Star. Sorry, dude. When manuals were miniature guides for the first two dungeons. Yeah, okay. The Chrono Trigger manual in the Super Nintendo? Mm -hmm. it, it guided you up until you got Marley back. Mm -hmm. it, just, it just gave you a walkthrough uh, in the final pages. Because that, that's, that's, what, that's what manuals were back in the day, man. Hey, Nutsu. Yeah, they, they don't... They don't give you a manual and they just fucking tell you. It's like, here's what you do. It's like, god damn it. Oh, Roman's gonna share some some uh, some drawings with the chat. Oh, well, there's nothing over here. There's, no, there's a, there's a dude. 
There's, there's a rat. No, no, I, 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 can, I can see the rat. I just, there's no way to get out of here. Yeah, you have to find a way out of the cave. Lots of older games really required the manual to play to play past clock protection. Yeah, uh, Tepperfray, the game Star Tropics on the original Nintendo, it required you to um, it required you to basically read the manual because it had like like it's like you need the password, and but the password was in the manual. Jesus Christ, Dynasty Star, answer my question. What would you say your top five troll in your audience? Um, what are you doing? Don't break my mouse, please. I'm not trying to break the mouse. It's being a fuck. I see it now, goddammit. Um, number one is obviously Fairy. I mean, I'm a fairy. I think number two is that, that guy who comments on the Sonic 06 videos, who keeps asking for Sonic 06. It's like, Sonic 06, Sonic 06, Sonic 06. Uh, Torvar is probably number three. Don't break the fucking mouse. So, Nintendo asked me to break it, and I'm like, no, don't. Don't break it, please. Um, as for four and five, I'm really not sure. Hit him. Yeah. Yeah. Are you scared of mice the way you are of bugs? Mice startle me. But I'm not really all that You're like on the table like, eee! I was the first time I ever saw a mouse because it fucking just skittered across the floor like almost over my feet. Where my mouse? Oh yeah, that's that's right, Tippa Frey. That's what it was. Game face John Bon Jovi. He's not here, and you two, you are. Oh, you found the way out of the cave. Go, Naomi. You see, the reason you only have so much movement like in your in your movement skill, so it stops, right? And every time it stops, it allows the enemies to also move. This is a map. Go back. Yeah. That's where you are. You can choose one of those other squares to move to. What? Where? Okay. See, you're you're in that green arrow. Go go back. Go back. No, we're going this over here. Yes, but go back. You're in. You're where the green arrow is. You can yeah. choose one of the other eight squares to move to. So you're gonna. There you are. Now you can move again. And there you are. You can move again. Okay. No, yeah. No, no. Oh, there's something That's right in your way. What is it? I'm gonna go see. Also, on each square, there's like a random chance to do something. I uh, know. You can go to it. I think you can. Yeah. Hello, stranger. Welcome to Shady Sands. It's a town. At least we hope it's peaceful. How Pink do I hairs. talk to people? Just, just go to them. Hi. I'm afraid. How? He just talked to you. See? I got nothing to say to you, stranger. Okay. How are you? This game has no life to it. This was a big deal of a game back in uh, 1997. It's not really now. <laughs> What are they all saying? Oh. Alright. Oh. Uh, He's not gonna sell uh, to you, I guess. You can there's a barter there's there's a barter button, you have a tell me about button. Tell me about what? You can like like here, like if you, t you here's this is what makes this game really unique, and even like the the best RPGs nowadays don't do this. This this is the one thing it's more superior in. You can talk to him about anything you want. You just type it in, and his personality will like give you something. Dogs. And say done. I don't know anything about that. You have to know what to actually ask him. It, oh, okay. it doesn't it doesn't give you a list of things to pick from. You have to know what to talk to him about.
Um, so like you're you're looking for the water chip, right? So tell me about water chip. Water what? Water chip. Never heard of it. So he doesn't know what it is. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. You've never heard of bandages? Okay. Anything. It's man, it's so small. How did you survive at playing games? This not so fast. It's a small community. We don't serve strangers off that we don't see strangers and we're really good. If you got my meaning, if you don't have a good reason to be here, you better just keep moving. Okay. They have stim packs. You see, I don't think we'll be doing why would you need bandages you can just heal up? Yeah, I guess so, eh? Try not to make trouble. All right, there you go. We're at 21 minutes. So next episode, Naomi um, will keep playing Fallout and hopefully learn to love it like I do. <laughs>